actually really lost right now. Guys, seriously, stop complaining. Hey, who's that up there on the side of the road? Oh, yeah, you probably should pull over. Um, I told me not to pick up strangers, but if you insist. Dude, it's fine to And we gotta get him home. He's got important things to do. Yeah, I'll drive. Um, the car's not starting. I think we're gonna have to walk. But I don't want to have to walk. Dude, it could be worse. We could be riding horseback on. Or being pulled along in a little dinghy. Yeah, come on. We could be in a hot air balloon. So it's game now. We could fight cross country. Over being a helicopter. Or a Zeppelin. Remember what happened to the Hindenburg? We could, uh, we could be in a particle accelerator. The atoms in those things blow up all the time. We could be on top of a building and have Man of Steel pick us up like Lois Lane. Um, we could be on a Saturn V rocket headed to the moon and land on it in a lunar lander. Don't worry, guys. Einstein said we can take his Tesla vehicle. Mm -hmm. Our object is to get Einstein home. We must first start by pressing the home button. By pressing the home button, that launches our first ball here, the repeating ball magnet. As the balls fall, they will create the illusion of our walking guy walking. The balls will fall into that container down there. And when that container tips, it will pull a pin releasing the horse. The horse will gallop down the track and run into a wire. That wire will pull the boat across the lake at which point it will knock over a lever. That lever will set off our first mousetrap. That mousetrap pulls a string, which is connected to this rod right here. That rod will drop and release the first hot air balloon. That hot air balloon will begin to swing back and forth and transfer some of its energy to the second hot air balloon. The second hot air balloon will begin to swing back and forth. And when it gets close enough, the magnet on the back of this will attract to this plate right here and pull this lever. When that happens, it sets off this mousetrap and it lets this trap door fall. This weight then starts to fall down and it spins up our gyroscope. The gyroscope will be released when the weight hits this bottom and half of it will um, be released and the other half is held up by the uh, The angular momentum of the gyroscope will pull it up, but as a result, it will spin around three quarters of a turn, form the back wheel of our bike. Uh, the bike will tip because it's on the left. And then that will release our helicopter which, as it falls, will actually pull this tube around, uh, causing the helicopter to crash land and spiral down. So when it crash lands, it's gonna hit this lever here and pull this string. The string is attached to a nail, which is holding back our Zeppelin. So the Zeppelin will then fall down, or glide down here and hit this lever. When it hits that lever, we pull this nail, which releases that ball, which will then Go down into that magnet and accelerate the rest of the marbles into our atom, explode it, and it will fall into our container here, release the mousetrap of Superman, and that will hit this lever and start the mousetrap to drop. So when that lever triggers the mousetrap, that is going to pull a pin holding back a compressed spring. That compressed spring, the compressed spring will decompress rapidly and launch a rocket into this lever. Uh, that lever will pull its, or, uh, transfer its energy along this wire to these double mousetraps. Uh, it'll set those off and that will pull this pin holding up our six pound block wire. Um, our lunar lander will uh, descend down the track or down the guide wires and as it is doing that it'll pull on the string which will spin up through the gear system or generator. When it hits the bottom, it's going to press on this little pin, activate this lever, and pull the clutch uh, so that our generator spins longer. As that generator is spinning, it's going to be producing voltage so our Einstein in this Tesla car will run across the track where he comes to a rest at this lever. That will drop a steel, steel um, rod onto a lever which will light up our final sign which is powered also by the generator, by the battery. Three, two, one.